Hi students, I wanted to make a quick video about my three-step process for learning music and how to apply it to Merrily We Roll Along, also known as Mary Had a Little Lamb in your method books. So step one, we clap and sing. So for step one, we deal mostly with the rhythm aspect of learning to read music. So we have clapping and singing and identifying all of the quarter notes, half notes, whole notes, rests, eighth notes, sixteenth notes, so on and so forth. And if you cross-reference your sheet that I gave you, then you should be able to figure out all of your rhythms and the value that they get. So for Merrily We Roll Along, so we're going to start. One, two, ready, go. Ta, 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 rest. Ta, 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 rest. Ta, 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 rest. Ta, 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 ta. Rest, rest. Good. All right. So hopefully you figured all of that out and noticed that most of them are quarter notes, which get one beat, and you clapped and sang appropriately. So once you feel confident on this step, we're ready to move on to step two, which is playing our instrument and plucking it. I'm going to play this on violin just because it's what I have in front of me right now. So for Merrily We Roll Along, remember we start on finger two if you're a violinist or a violist, finger three if you're a cellist, and finger four if you are a bassist. So make sure that you have the first finger in mind and you're identifying your pitches. So the first note we have, or the first pitch, is F sharp. Then we have E, D, E, F sharp, F sharp, F sharp, rest. E, 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 rest. F sharp, A, A, rest. F sharp, E, D, E, F sharp, F sharp, F sharp, F sharp, E, E, F sharp, E, open D. All right, so now I've identified the pitches. The next step I have to go through is to figure out how these pitches relate to the instrument that I'm playing. So I know F sharp is finger two on the violin, it's finger three on the cello, and finger four on the bass, so I have to make sure that I get that first finger down. And then I have to then realize that E is finger one on all string instruments, and then open D. So now I have to go through and practice making sure that I have the right fingers down for the right notes. So once I have all of that information figured out, I can successfully pluck this song. Rest. 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 Rest, rest. All right, so that should have been pretty easy for you. Um, if it isn't yet, that's okay. Then just take some time, isolate, and practice the parts that are difficult. Go from note to note if you need to. So once you feel confident on your pitches and plucking them, you may now grab your bow and we can play it for step three with our bow. So here's step three, Mary Lee, we roll along, or Mary had a little lamb with the bow. <laughs> Very good. If you followed these three steps, there's no reason why you shouldn't also be able to play this song or any other for that matter. So as I've said to many of you in your lessons, the, your progress is your responsibility. If you want to work really hard and get really good and learn all the songs, then work really hard, get really good and learn all the songs. But if you want to relax a little bit and just kind of enjoy the songs that you're on, there's nothing wrong with that. As long as you're making an effort and you realize that you are responsible for your education and how good you will get at this. So with that being said, good luck, work hard. I expect great things and I can't wait to see you in your next lesson.